Before proceeding to the main event, Naoma made a turn at the stalwart's grave to lay a wreath and pay respects to a person he described as a fountain of wisdom. The late Mvula, who died in 1985, aged 93, was instrumental in the quest to liberate Namibia. Niyoma lauded Mvula's family for honoring him with a befitting shrine, which will be a permanent symbol of his contribution to the struggle, his undertakings and others for decades to come. Did not hesitate to send someone to inform the plan combatants they to relocate to the to the base because the enemy discovered it. Eventually, the combatants dis, dismantled the base, and when the Boers arrived, they did not find anything. The late Mvula, between 1932 and 1954, established a committee with the aim to put pressure on enemy forces, hoping they would disclose the whereabouts of the late Omukwanilwa Ipumbu Yashilongo. In 1970, Mvula played a crucial role in providing planned combatants who came to operate in his area with medication that he sourced from the Okatana Roman Catholic priest. All these deeds, Nayoma said, should always be remembered. It is now my distinct honor and pleasure to officially unveil the memorial shrine of the late Tatekuru Viripata Nerumbu Shimo Shiri Evura. May his revolutionary legacy continue to live on.